Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or Sorbo we'll bringing this video on Fortnite once again. Now in today's Fortnite video, I'll be showing you guys skins that I would refund if I could. Because I cannot. But before we get into the video, I want to know what skins you would refund if you could. Is there a skin that you bought and then regretted immediately after? Let me know in the comments down below. So let's get into it. So Fortnite added this option where you could return stuff for your V-Bucks. Pretty much if you bought it in the past 30 days or so, you can refund it and get your V-Bucks back for that purchase. But it's only for the past 30 days. And these are legit the only things I've bought in the past 30 days. And they have a lot more skins than this. So you can see why I would like to return some of my older skins. Now I see why they don't let you do this because it'd be extremely OP. Instead of spending real money, you could probably just return a bunch of skins and buy the battle pass or a new skin instead. Which would then return, you know, no profit to Fortnite. Which is a big no-no. So yeah, let's just get it started. So I'm only gonna do skins. If you guys would like to see, you know, pickaxes and gliders later in life, maybe let me know in the comments. But I think skins are the most interesting part of it. Now, unless I get lazy, I'm gonna be putting up a V-Bucks counter in the top right corner, or top left corner, or bottom left corner, or bottom right corner, showing how much V-Bucks I could get if I return these skins in all actuality. So let's get it started. I'm just gonna go alphabetically, I think it is. And real quick, before we do get into it, I'm gonna just say this. Obviously, it's skins that I have purchased. I'm gonna disqualify Battle Pass skins, Twitch Prime skins, skins that came with packages, even the V-Bucks skins for five. $5. I'm gonna go ahead and disqualify those as well because I was gonna buy the V-Bucks anyway. So here we go. First up, we have the Battlehound Legendary skin. This skin was actually one of the most OG skins a few months ago, and then they re-released it. I honestly have hated this skin ever since I bought it and have no idea why I did buy it. If you like this skin, good for you, but this is probably one of my least favorite skins in the whole entire game, and I would wholeheartedly return this without a doubt. I personally don't care if it's an OG or not. Battle pass, battle pass, battle pass, battle pass, battle pass, week seven, Twitch Prime. And then finally we have the Hime, I think it's called. Now, honestly, the skin's not bad, but I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I literally only bought this skin for the back bling. The back bling is the Shiro. It's just, it's just honestly probably the best back bling in the game. I don't know why Fortnite does not sell back blings separately. They probably make more money off of it being together, but I would buy a lot more stuff if they sold back bling separately. But I love this back bling, so I guess I don't necessarily regret buying this. So I would not return it. Then we have the OG Love Ranger skin. Now this came out around Valentine's Day, and this skin was honestly really dope at the time. And this was before back blings were even a thing, so you kind of just had wings on a character, and I always thought that was really dope. But ever since they made back wing a thing, I've never used this skin since. And it's a cool skin and all, I just literally have never used it since then. So pretty much since season 3, I have not used this skin, which is honestly kind of sad to say. I'm kind of iffy on this one if I would return or not, but I'm going to go ahead and just say I would return it since I have not used it in eons. So, uh, rip my guy Love Ranger. Next, we had the Moisty Merman Legendary skin. Now, I'm not even going to lie. This skin is absolute garbage. Straight garbage, absolute trash. This is probably one of my least favorite skins that I own personally, but the back bling for it goes perfectly with Snorkel Ops, and that was probably one of my favorite skins I own personally. That's literally the only reason I bought this skin. So honestly, I think I'm going to have to return this one. Sorry, Chief, it's just it's just trash. It really is. Cool back bling, though. Okay, so we have the Power Court Legendary skin. Now, until recently, this was also one of the most OG and rare skins in the game. But I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I hate this skin. I, I just don't like it. It's, it's just, it's very meh. I used it like once and that's literally it. So let me give you guys a little bit of backstory, some context. So a lot of these skins, what I did is I used to stream on YouTube gaming. I used to stream on YouTube. So a title and thumbnail would be very essential to getting views on that stream or people getting to click on etc. So honestly, what I would do is I would buy a skin just for content almost. I could put like new power cord skin, put the skin in the thumbnail and the title, etc. And it would just do better that way and just to being like, Fortnite. That's why I bought a lot of these skins and I low-key regret it, but it's whatever. I literally used to buy every skin just in hopes, you know, it'd be the next Gold Trooper. Even though this kind of was, it's garbage. So I would 100% return this without a doubt. I don't care if it's OG or not. I hate it. Next, we have the Raven Legendary skin. This is one of the coolest skins ever be introduced into Fortnite, in my opinion. And it does remind me heavily of my boy Zer from Destiny. And honestly, I don't use this skin that much anymore, but I don't regret it at all. One of the dopest skins in the game, in my opinion. So I'd keep it 100%. Now the next skin. Oh, I, I almost don't even have to say anything. We have the Rex skin. The skin is utter garbage. Like this is one of the stupidest skins ever introduced into Fortnite, personally. And I a thousand percent regret buying this. Only cool thing about that skin is the back bling. And even then it's it's questionable at most. So I would go ahead and return this guy 100%. Next we have the Triceraops legendary skin. Now I know what I said about my boy Rex, okay? But this skin honestly is really dope in my opinion. I really like the back bling to it. 
this dude. And it's honestly just a nice skin. It really just pops, and I really honestly like it a lot better than a Rex. I just like the female skins a lot better, so I would keep this. Next skin we have is the Wukong skin. The Wukong legendary skin is honestly one of the most unique skins in Fortnite, and it was low-key revolutionary at the time of its release. But nowadays, I don't see these skins at all. I personally don't use it anymore as well. As cool of a skin as it is, I think I'd rather just have the V-Bucks and move on with my life. So I'd probably return this dude. Next skin we have is the Alpine Ace. USA. This is the skier set skins. I happen to pick the USA. I actually bought this skin with uh, three other friends. They got like the, the Canadian one, the UK one, etc. And I honestly really do enjoy the skin and think it's one of my favorite skins in the game. So I'd go ahead and keep this 100%. Next we have the Bright Gunner. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I've literally never used this skin ever. Only reason I bought it was for this bright bag. What? Hello? Only reason I bought it was for this bright bag. I love this back bling. It's so dope. In alternate reality to where I could just buy back blings, I'd do that and get rid of the skin, but I cannot. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna have to keep it. Next skin I have is the Burnout Epic skin. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you guys. Trash skin refund. Twitch Prime, hey, if you haven't subscribed to Twitch Prime, uh, make sure you subscribe to your boy on Sorable on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Sorable. Next, we have the Tomato Head Epic skin. Honestly, <laughs> I don't use this skin, but Jesus Christ, is this one of the best skins ever released in any video game to ever exist. Tomato Head's just dope. It's just, it's, it's kind of a meme, and I like how Fortnite someone embraced it. So for that reason, we're going to keep it. And then next, we have the Bright Bomber Rare skin. Now, this is one of my favorite skins in the game. I just really like the whole Bright set, the pickaxe, the back bling, the skin in general. I love it. It's one of my favorite skins, so for that reason, I'm going to keep it. And guess what? Next is the Dark Bomber. I absolutely love this skin. It's just the polar opposite to the Bright Bomber. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this as well because I love this skin. I just bought it. This is actually the only skin I can actually refund. So I'm just going to, I don't even know why I <laughs> included that. Next, we have the Poised Playmaker. Now, a little bit of backstory on this character. I was like questioning buying it or not. And then I legit accidentally bought it, but I didn't want to use my refund because I'm scared I'm going to need my refund one day. Like I'm going to be in a squeeze and say a Skull Trooper comes back and I don't have the money to buy it. I don't have the V-Bucks either. I wanted to be able to return some stuff in order to buy that. So for that reason, I kept this skin. And honestly, I don't really regret it. It's a, it's a nice skin. I can't believe it's been so long since season two. It's almost been like a year, my god. Next, we have the Snorkel Ops Rare skin. This is one of my favorite skins in the whole entire game. Super simple, super awesome. I love this skin. I'd use it more if, you know, people want to call me a Dakota's fanboy. One of my favorite skins, so for that reason, I am keeping it. Next skin we have is the Survival Specialist Rare skin. Nothing really to say here. This is a really dope skin. One of the cleaner skins in the game, and I really do enjoy it, so for that reason, I'm gonna keep it. Next skin we have is the Triple Threat Rare outfit. Now, honestly, I like this skin a lot, but I've used it maybe a total of once twice like ever i don't know um honestly i would probably return this just because i don't see myself ever reusing this again even though it's a really nice skin so for that reason i'm gonna return you then finally for our last skin it's an uncommon we have the nightlight skin i like this skin it's super simple it was actually very cheap as well it hasn't been an item shop that much so for that reason i think i'm just gonna go ahead and keep it because i really like the skin so that was all the skins i would have kept if i could i don't know how much money that would have saved me if i could you know return them but you guys will see somewhere on the screen and it's probably a depressing amount i've probably spent 300 400 dollars in skins and everything on fortnite and it's bad somebody please help me so yeah guys i don't know i just had this video idea thought it'd be neat to do so let me know if you guys did enjoy this thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like and a comment and also subscribe to the channel for more fortnite content like this trying to get more into the fortnite upload schedule and all that gist so if you guys are enjoying this let me know in the comments and by leaving a like and by subscribing and turning on post notifications if you guys have not liked the video please go ahead and do that be super duper appreciated and yeah let me know if you guys really would like that pickaxe and or glider uh return video as well don't think it'd be as cool but you never know maybe people want it but yeah thanks again for watching and as always it's been cj or sorable i'll see you guys in the next one peace out